All right, greetings. Thanks for uh, tuning in. This is Robert Forsh exposing the truth live here in the North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina area. We've got dense fog in the um, ocean is over that way, about four miles. And I'm going to be taking us in. Oh, one of the things that I'd like to show you. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. I'll be able to show you now because the... Um, Let's see. Whoops. Hopefully I'm still recording. Ah, uh, yes. I wanted to show you with my um, light here. See that? Now a lot of that is uh, ocean mist, humidity. The dew point is at 71. We've got a 90 some percent humidity right now. And the moon is high in the sky, so this uh, this fog that's down here is, well, it's a lower layer fog. But I wanted to show that, what's in the fog. You can look at utility fog on uh, in my research library. So I'm grounded, well grounded in the Word of God and in reality, exposing the truth about everything that I've found out about so far. Water exposes the truth about the global lie. Let's put the light in the bird bath there, the reflection. Okay, where are we? Right there. There it is. That's how it works. It's a line of sight and that's how the reflections work with the eyes of the observer. I don't see anybody else out here right now. There may be people peeking out of their windows. I don't know. But uh, if you're looking at this on a device, you're looking at part of our shared simulated reality. Uh, when this car was viewed at the Flat Earth Conferences, I just had the Bible.com on there. Since then, I found out it to be very effective to tell the story of a whole lot more that's going on than just the shape of our earth or the fact that it's not spinning, wobbling, gyrating. Oh, let me um, show you one of my favorite things to show you here as an um, illustrative tool as well. My wind chime is hanging vertical and she's a not a moving, not even a little bit. There's no wind movement that I can pick up on at all. How about that? <laughs> so, there we go. Just to show you it's a real wind chime, what I'll do is leave it hang there for a moment. And then it'll come right back on down, centered, and all of that. I'm counting on the system recognizing what I'm doing. That's part of the deal. If somebody wants to talk to me at the door, they can give me a call. That'll be just fine. I may not want to go on outside, depending on what the meeting is about. Like, hey, we're from the government. We just want to make sure you're compliant on everything. Well, here's one of the things that I wanted to share with you. Uh, this vehicle has a, a large electrical generator that captures brake movement. Uh, slowing the vehicle down and then can reapply it with the electric motor to get the car going again. And what I wanted to say with that is we are going into a new energy usage program here where we are going to have 13 cents right now. The It's about 12 cents per kilowatt and when we go to the new program it's going to be about seven cents per kilowatt in off peak but on peak it's going to be about twelve and a half dollars per kilowatt that's a big jump how about that so right now i've got my electric garage door opener operating with a deep cycle lithium iron phosphate battery and a inverter so that I can actually 
if I want to reduce my consumption of electricity when uh, when it's peak time, I'll, I can just flip the the breaker switch, turn it off for three hours. In the in the summer, it's going to be uh, this program starts on the 25th, and you might think, well, what does that have to do with anything? I'm convinced there are going to be people that are um, going to have high expense, uh, very expensive electric bills, and they may end up losing their uh, electrical service for non-payment. Who knows? That's a big uh, that's a big difference in price there, from 12 cents to 12 dollars. Wow. And it's not optional. I can't opt out of it. So I wanted to let you know that we don't know what we don't know. And I keep finding out information as I go. I can see the school bus light just flashing on by. Getting ready to take the the young impressionable minds to their daily indoctrination at their government schools to get the official narrative that the system wants them to believe. And the rest of that curated narrative is going to come through whatever social media they're on, uh, the TV they watch, the magazines they read, the parents that they have that may be enforcing the false narrative. It's kind of how it works, unfortunately. So I have a, a battery bank jump starter. Um, a Gulu. By the way, none of these mentions are backed up with uh, endorsements. I'm not getting paid for mentioning them. None of that. I just want people to consider there are options so I can actually power up my laptop with a fully charged battery that'll run 19 hours. I can link to the to the um, internet with my cell phone and use that as a hot spot which I will be doing in those peak hours I can't afford to pay I don't want to pay anything for my electricity during peak I can divert all of it off off grid at those peak times I can use other methods so I wanted to show the transition between where I live and what the ocean front looks like. Now apparently we have a, an offshore breeze uh, coming out of the north according to the weather app of three miles an hour. So that means it'll probably just be foggy the whole way and out there at the ocean front too. And the big story is not me just talking about stuff. It's what I've found and put together for your thoughtful consideration and critical analysis. I got a truck behind me without headlights on. Not a good move at all. That would be a ticket waiting for... Oh, yeah, here he comes. He or she... It's hard to see vehicles without the lights on, especially in fog and dark. Anyway, I've created a deep learning artificial intelligence research library that's been deployed worldwide to world leaders. I believe that's what got me permanently banned off the Twitter, now X, platform. I direct message and tweeted to the billionaires of the world, the parasite class, telling on them. And I wanted them to know that I'm telling on them and what I'm telling. It's powerful evidence of their uh, plan, of which I can't really talk about specifically as in uh, genocide and uh, the manipulation of the financial networks stock market, banking system, the medical system. It's all under their control, pretty much. Now, what I wanted to mention with all of this, too, is because I'm actually born of the Holy Spirit, 
that spoke this realm into existence. He lives in and through me and all of his children that are actually born again. And so I'm not afraid to live, die, or tell the truth. Some of these statements that I make, I continue to repeat because they're true. So they're on different different uh, videos and platforms like that. Uh, what I wanted to say, too, is I've gone to a, a way of basically using uh, everything at my means to expose the truth about everything. Because I can. I've got a, a digital pitchfork, which this iPhone 11 Pro Max is. I'll, I'll link it up to my laptop when I want to go ahead and have computer access. Um, laptop computer operating system is different than the iOS, the iPhone operating system. So there's different procedures that I, I can do in the copying and pasting and how I can share in the platforms that I go across. So right now we're approaching the uh, intracoastal waterway, which is about 100 feet above sea level. My driveway is about 20 feet above sea level. That could be really important if a big way, either a tsunami comes in or we get hammered with a lot of rain which can happen now after the last storm uh, we've got a a little bit of drying out time that evaporated uh, and a lot of the water ran into the ocean through the rivers tributaries waterway all of that it's the water seeking level that's why this actually all matters so let me show you from a different vantage point how little we can actually see out there. I guess I can show you from up front. Yeah, that's fine. Going through a couple of uh, AI monitored cameras there on the bridge. We're living in a world that is heavily uh, monitored by closed circuit or TV cameras and, and that, or cameras linked up to the artificial intelligence. So right now, because I have my foot off the accelerator, my uh, regenerative braking system is harvesting a lot of that slowing down energy and putting it in my battery. And then when I accelerate, it'll work in concert with my uh, with my engine, which is an ultra low emissions engine as well. This is a, a Toyota Prius. This is part of the mechanism to show that. I'll bring her up to the speed limit, lock it in. That'll be nice. See how that works? And so part of what I can do with this is in a grid down situation I can uh, use my inverter and deep cycle battery in this to charge the battery back up run my exhaust out the attic so I don't draw a bunch of attention to my setting my situation a generator running outside is obvious if somebody's got a generator uh, that could indicate they've got a lot of other helpful preparations. The people, I've, I've heard people say, I, I don't have to prep, I'll just take other people's preps when, when I feel like it. And I'm like, no, you may be unaware there are people that are willing to die on that hill of protecting their family and themselves. How about that? Uh, that should be in reverse. Uh, that's the way Facebook does it. This is a live Facebook stream that I'm going to put out to other platforms. Okay, so up in the view, in the middle of the view, there's a hotel and 
it's hard to see the top of it. I can see the ground level, level of it. This is all because of the dense fog that's around the area. It's a little bit clearer at ground level. That's what's kind of interesting about it. Okay, so by the look of it, I'm going to take us. I'm going to take us down Main or Ocean Drive. Show you what it looks like. The hydrologic cycle, the evaporation, condensation, precipitation drives the, well, it's the water cycle of the world. Based on temperature differential, wind directions, uh, ambient temperature, uh, and, and all of that. How, how does that affect the world we live in? So up front is a real good example. I can't see the top of the Prince Resort, but the lower I, I can see. I'm going to keep this video less than an hour so I can put it on other platforms as well. So recently I had been having some pain. Now it looks like the, um, the sun is actually up. I had been having some pain in my right side. And what I did is uh, took some baking soda and it released the lactic and or uric acid that had stored up in my body, apparently there. Uh, the pain went away almost immediately. A lot of the old wives' tales actually have some valid application. Brushing my teeth with um, baking soda and swallowing makes a lot of sense. It dissolves it thoroughly and then I rinse it on down. We're a, a biological computer. And we've got this physiological interface with this reality. So this is the Prince Resort, Cherry Grove, South Carolina, also known as North Myrtle Beach. And the Cherry Grove Fishing Pier is facing actually southwest. It's not directly south. I had questioned that before. Somebody told me it was south. Directly south, somebody that should know, the peer owner, or he was in the family of the peer ownership. Anyway, it's a little southwest. Hey Dave, good to see you. Dave Waves. I appreciate your continued support. This is pretty cool. I've got friends and family all over the world helping me to expose the truth about everything that I've found out about so far. So I'll keep on a doing it and rely on the help from good people like you all. And um, I'm grateful for that. So I'm gonna hook this up onto my tripod here. Well, can't see that so good. That's what I wanted to show you. A friend of mine, um, Let There Be Light, Jason, sent me that very effective attachment for this. And now you should be able to see that in its proper orientation. And I've got um, cards with me. They're not really business cards. They're cards. And my name and phone number would be computer code that goes across all the different platforms. So when people are walking on out to the beach from the elevators here in Tower 2, they'll come on by the car. They might decide they want to take a picture of it. So when I saw a fog this morning, I thought, ooh, the, there's not much wind and the ocean should be kind of glassy or the waves should be really nice. 
and they in fact are. That pattern recognition of how the system actually works is um, testable, repeatable, and we can keep on looking at it and seeing how things actually work. Not, not how we're told they work by the official liars, the narrative reinforced by the, the information system of the world. And it's about to get really difficult to um, be able to access some of the, uh, how would I say, the unofficial narrative because there's going to be more and more censorship, probably with the digital ID and all of that. See, the waves stay open better when uh, there's a little gentle offshore breeze. Ah, there we go. There's the sun right there. Let me zoom in on that. There we go. It's been up, uh, visible from this vantage point for about two minutes, probably. Oh, hey, <laughs> hey good morning. <laughs> Even the simplicity of a little dog lifting his leg, water seeking level. That's how it works. There's up and down, not upside down, in relationship to one another. So what has happened is a lot of this information that's been out there in the in the truth movement, or I call it the truth network. I deploy my library through the truth network there's the the liquid mirror there let's put it right between the two ladies looks like there we go line of sight the eyes of the observers it's just how it works it's a liquid mirror So the fog is really thick uh, down, well, actually both ways, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you here under the pier. All right. And then I'll just swing it around over here. See how thick that is? That's how it actually looks to me. I'm looking at it through my, through my phone and also through just my eyes seeing it. Apparently with the biodigital convergence the system may be able to observe through people's eyes. How does your phone work? <laughs> One of my favorite uh, new new friends is Sabrina Wallace. We, we haven't talked directly yet. Uh, we have interacted on her videos. You can see her talking about the biodigital convergence Non-Vaxxer 420 has a lot of good information, Celeste Solem, uh, Whitney Webb, Annie Jacobson. There are so many people that have shared helpful information, it's just amazing. And there's no way that I could put that all together myself and just have it come out of my own mouth. For one really important reason, my channel would also get taken down. I can't talk about these things on a, on a public live stream. Now, when I can vaguely refer to them, which is what I'll do, let me, um, let me set this down just to show you how not moving this is. It's everything else that's moving. The clouds, the breeze, the people, the information, the water. There. Not moving. So Sabrina was talking about the biofield being a body part. She's hilarious. 
and I've got a lot of her content in my library. If you go to my Rumble channel, it's called Truth. You can find it through the link tree that I share. And the Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars is a playlist that I can add a lot of videos to. And I do. That's one of the ways that I do it. And I'll also share it on Facebook. And I know there are people that don't have Facebook because the government's watching. Can't avoid it, really. You can't avoid the, the government overreach, the, um, the surveillance society we live in. It's just the way it is. So I will use every bit of this system to expose this system because I can I was created for this that's why I do it so as wonderful as the the books authored are by the truth tellers and the deceivers I've got people exposing their hypocrisy and their deception for the whole freaking world to see how about that in that special, I thought I should do that. So we're electrical beings living in a physiological body. I like to get charged up with uh, with the sun, sunshine. It's real healthy, and to be grounded on the earth. Uh, this is powerful. This is a powerful body of electrolyte, the largest one in the world. So if the haters, uh, the people making fun of flat earthers, would have just gone ahead and swallowed their pride and taken a look around at the information, they may be healthier or actually alive. A lot of people made some really bad choices in the last uh, five years with uh, medical tyranny that's been foist on humanity. Using the governments, corporations, and all the information dissemination systems of the world to mold and shape the narrative. Now he'll walk through the uh, light beam. Uh, yeah, let's speed that up. Let's put him right there. See that? How nice. What a beautiful day. Good morning. So now, at the end of or August here, we've got a very different ecosystem, different group of people. School has begun for a lot of areas, so rather than having, well, we don't have spring breakers because it's not spring break, and we don't have a lot of the people that go to public school or colleges because they're in session, so we're left with... Um, a lot of senior citizens and homeschoolers and parents of preschoolers bringing their little children out here. In a busy year, all along the coast, we'll have as many as 20 million guests that come here to the Grand Strand in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Beautiful place. I'm not here just because the weather is so nice, it's because the people come from all over the world so I don't have to do any fundraising so I can go travel to another country. Traveling is a lot tougher now. We've got this green agenda that allows the billionaires to use up all the resources they want, avoid legal persecution for obvious crimes against humanity, and uh, yeah, I'll expose them. I'll expose the heck out of them, because I can. And they're going to end up where the Almighty determined, predetermined. I believe that's how it works. Ah, look at the local sun. Definitely not 93 million miles away. Look at the hot spot right above the cloud there. Or right above the sun there. Oh, that gets people upset. Oh, how far away is the sun? How fast is it moving? What about all that? I would say, well, I don't know exactly. 
The Bible says it's uh, in the midst of the clouds. Looks like it to me. That works for me. I've captured a lot of uh, local sun video and documentation that has been shared around the world. And not just that, I'm encouraging people to be born of the Holy Spirit. Many of them don't even know that that's an option. They're just running with the devil. Diablo living through them. Oh well, selling their soul for fame and fortune and all the toys and trinkets and pleasures that that money can buy. It's all temporary. Very temporary. Eternity is a long time to regret. What a bummer for those poor bastards. Bastardly children. They're the children of the devil if they're going to end up in hell for eternity. Apparently, that's the, that's the plan. So this epic battle between good and evil involves fallen angels, select angels, the Almighty and the usurper, Lucifer, the fallen one, Satan. And people have a lot of ideas of how, the, how this all fits together. They can't all be right, especially if they're... Hey, Brian, good to see you. Thank you. I want to thank all of you ahead of time for your kind comments and support. It means a lot to me. It helps encourage me, um, and hopefully others as well. Huh. Paddle boarding out there. Let's zoom in on them. So on some of the some of the situations here are really complicated in this dissemination of information. People selling nutritional supplements that are perhaps very healthy and they may be doctors and individuals that have been fired for telling the truth. They've got to figure out a way to, to make a living to survive. It's gotten extremely complicated, so I don't disparage people for having an affiliate uh, purchasing arrangement with Amazon or however. The, it's just very challenging. The big money runs the world for the most part, and yet under the direction of the Almighty, in that very nebulous and convoluted relationship between God's sovereignty and man's apparent free will. I'm all in on God's sovereignty. The Almighty is large and in charge. He decides how this actually works out, as best I can tell. See how the the reflection looks tilted? It's just the beach that's a little slanted. So I've got plenty of so-called flat earth documentaries. Biblical cosmology is a stationary level earth with the firmament above us. A structure like a big terrarium. How nice. Let's put the people in the reflection how it actually works over and over again. It's 
So we have reality deniers. I had somebody say on one of my videos something like, I wish people would stop calling them reality deniers. I haven't even heard a whole lot of that. Although it's true. I mean, they deny the reality that's obvious all around us. It's not... Um, I was made fun of for the toilet water theory. Yeah, toilet water. It's not flying out on people in Australia because of gravity. Well, hello, it's just water seeking its level. The water in your glass, your bird bath, the water that covers the stationary level Earth. All around us. How about that? Why does it matter? Well, the truth matters. People are making all kinds of decisions, trusting those they shouldn't trust, and making fun of and mocking and rejecting people they should be listening to. Hello? <laughs> Hello, people! They're believing the liars and making fun of the truth tellers. Perfect for Satan to work out his what he does. So, for those that don't love the truth, this is the biblical paradigm. They refuse in Second Thessalonians chapter two. They re refuse to love the truth and so be saved. For this reason, God sends them a strong delusion. So God is going to help people believe the lie that they apparently want to believe. So divine intervention is required to love and believe the truth, let alone find it. People aren't going to get it. They can't get it. It's not that I just need to be a little bit more creative. Man, people that God is sending a strong delusion, I can't help. I can, I can put the truth in front of them or try to, and yet it's still going to be between them and the Almighty. So is Jesus Christ anti-Semitic? No, he's, he was Jewish. Is Jewish, was Jewish. He's the living word, the living water, the great I am, the Alpha and Omega. He's the living word that took up human flesh. He said to the scribes and Pharisees that should have recognized who he was, he said, you can't hear me because you're of your father, the devil. Wow. So the devil has children. So does the Almighty. To this end I labor to put this information out there so that people can understand that being born of the Holy Spirit is an option and it's only possible for the Almighty's children. Satan's children don't become God's children. It's more of a discovery process. Who's who? Who are you? I don't know. I don't know who you are. Exactly. It's out of my wheelhouse to know who's going to heaven or hell. I'll simply agree with the Holy Spirit, with Scripture, in that only those that are born of the Holy Spirit get to go to heaven. That's it. How does it work out? Perfectly. That's what I would say about that. So I'm also exposing... Uh, predestination, the doctrine of election, and the timeline deception. I believe we already had the the rapture, however that worked out, <laughs> the, tribula the great tribulation, and the millennial reign of Christ. So right now I believe we're living in the little season, the short season where the devil was released to deceive the world. There you go. I've got the receipts for it, the documentation of it. And so, like I say, my name and phone number link that up together. So, even if they can effectively silence me uh, by killing me, I still have my... What do I have? I've got my digital twin out here. <laughs> You're looking at them right now, part of them. There's more to it than that, but in the biodigital convergence, there's a, a, a profile, a data set for all of us, linked up through the technology, the Wi-Fi, the cellular, Skynet, Starlink, the whole thing. 
They've deployed um, technology in the food, water, air to modify the weather and the people. That's an interesting ship out there. Doesn't look like a shrimp boat. I don't know what it is. Where, where are you? Uh, not seeing it so good. That's interesting. I can see it with my naked eyes. I just can't see it through the phone too well. Maybe you can. I don't know. Good morning. No good shots here. <laughs> oh yeah, I love it. A liquid mirror. Isn't that cool? Some of these people I've talked to many times, they're local. Some of them come up to me and say, hey, I remember meeting you eight years ago on our honeymoon, something like that. Can actually look at the sun. I sun gaze. I like it. Don't need glasses anymore. I don't wear sunglasses anymore, pretty much. Uh, maybe if it were real low on the horizon and I was driving into the sun, I may put it on, put them on briefly. My, our bodies apparently metabolize uh, cholesterol and our digestion and processing energy is different and more effective without sunglasses. That's my understanding. So in the pursuit of understanding and believing the truth, uh, with critical thinking as a, a very important component of that, it's non or um, with the law of non-contradiction as uh, part of the structure. What I would say is contradictory perspectives can't all be right. In fact, they're all wrong, except for the one that is actually true. That's all. So. There's the truth, and then a whole bunch of everything else. I got very tired of hearing very proud people explaining how this all fits together, and they were wrong. Who's the Antichrist? What's the mark of the beast? It's changed over the years. What is commonly accepted? Good morning. So I had been working on biofield maintenance for a long time, trying to be the healthiest version that I could be of myself. And so what I would like to share with you is the benefit that I found in being actually born of the Spirit, his, uh, he directs and protects me and empowers me to do what he created me to do. So I want to have that happen for more people. I want them to be aware of it. So if you're looking at the billionaire class and how they're manipulating humanity and running the show, the Elon Musk, Larry Finks, Eric Schmidt, Bill Gates, Barack Obama, and on and on and on. All the different, all the different avatars that are either indwelt by the Almighty or Satan or some derivative of either. So, what we, uh, what we do matters. I believe that with all my heart. And obedience is better than sacrifice. I listen to God's Word day and night. He encourages me through His Word. I listen to the Bible on my uh, Bluetooth speaker. And I've got it running through my phone for me and the intelligence agencies to monitor. I'm counting on it. I'm wanting to show them that I really am not afraid of them. And uh, the Almighty lives in and through me and I regularly want to do what He created me to do. To that end I labor. So rather than trying to please myself, I simply want to do what I was created to do for His glory 
and uh, by his leading and powering. Um, now I see this boat coming in closer. Let's see. That may be a shrimp boat. Alrighty, so thank you so much for your public and private encouragement. Feel free to reach out anytime you like. Thank you.